So the first thing you want to do at rest is palpate from the xiphoid down to the pubic symphysis to feel for resting tension in the linea alba. And for Helen, it starts to get a little bit soft, about two inches here above her umbilicus. And here it's quite soft. And it stays soft, so it's about that big. Okay. So let's see what happens when you do a curl up. Just bring your chin to chest and do a curl, and then back down. And come up again. Hold it. So there's some doming there. And I can push in the midline. And I can actually pull the left and right rectus apart. Okay. Now there's a there's a, there's tension in it. There's tension in the back, but it's kind of hanging like a hammock. Down you go. So it's not really getting they're not really getting good force closure. Okay. So E O I O T A lift and separate. That's a nice fascial line. E O I O T A lift and separate. It's a little bit wider, but it's still pretty good. E O I O T A, and that's really nice. So right in here, I'd be very interested if she can generate tension. So I'm going to assess E O I O T A and pull. Fingers up here to make sure to see if she's getting any external oblique activation before her transversus. Okay, so Helen, very gently, just connect to your pelvic floor for me. Nice, 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 and let it go. And again. And let it go. So I feel my thumbs get drawn apart. So I feel that she's got a good, good activation. So once again, connect. Keep that connection. And now lift your head up off the pillow. And back down. Okay. Connect again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep that. And curl. That's better. That's better. Now keep coming up. That's it, that's it, that's what I want, that's what I want. Now, the tension is more superficial now, and there's less spring of her rectus apart. Okay, and back down. So that's a very functional diastasis.